So to get started, you open up Paint, and you click on the File tab, click on Properties. Change your unit to inches, and put in the size of the picture whoops, that you are asked for. So I'm doing a 2 inch by 2 inch. And then you're going to zoom in so you can actually see what you're doing. So you can click the little plus two times. Next, you're going to make a picture using the tools on the Home tab. So on the Home tab, we have these tools. And the important thing is that you know that the color one here, whatever is in that color, that is going to be the color for the pencil, and the color for the brushes, and the color for the paint bucket. So let's make something. So let's make an apple. So the pencil tool uses color one. So we want red for color one. We can also change the thickness here. So I'll use this thick one. So here's my apple. Now when I draw my apple, I need not to have any little gaps because I won't be able to fill it if I have a gap. So there's my apple, now I want to fill it. We use the paint bucket to fill it. The paint bucket, if you put your cursor on it, it will tell you, click an area on the canvas to fill it with color one. That's what it should say, with color one. So if we just click, color one will fill in those lines. If I had a gap, it would leak out and fill the whole page. So now, let's say I want a stalk. I'm going to change now, back to the pencil tool. I'm going to change color one to brown, and I'm going to make a little stem on my apple. Now I want to have a leaf. Now this is sometimes confusing. When I change to green, I'm, I'm just recording. So now in, with my pencil tool, I'm going to draw a little leaf. And I can just fill it in with the pencil tool. Now if I want to do the background color, that's the paint can. And let's make the background blue. So if I do a left click, with the paint can, it fills everything until it hits a boundary. Now we have our picture saved. And now you just, you need to save it. So file. When you hover on save as, you have the choice to pick one of these. We always do a JPEG. But if you forget, then, when you get the dialog box, make sure you open it up nice and big, and you will see that you, if you forgot, you could change it with this drop down to JPEG. We want to make sure it goes where we want it, so check your path. Make sure you have a file name, and enter or save. So, once we've saved it, we can go over to our Word document, and we can insert our picture over here. And the way that we do it is we go to the Insert tab, Pictures. We need to follow our path to where we put it. So mine is in my M drive in my junk. There's the JPEG right there. You click it, and then click Insert. Or you could have double-clicked on the file name and it comes in here. Now, I'm going to move it down just to show you something I'm running into in the class. People go sometimes to size a picture and it turns upside down. And what you need to know is that if you start to click, hold, and drag this handle, if you go over the opposite handle, which is this one, it's, so watch as we go. If you see the black cursor, if I go over the opposite handle, it's going to turn it upside down. So don't do that. Just go slowly and size it to be a little bit smaller. So in the end, we have 
one JPEG fold, one JPEG file, which is an image file. And now we want to save this document file, which is a Word file. And we want to save it and have it separate from the JPEG, but it's embedded in this file. So file, save as, make sure you browse. I'll just put it in my junk folder. And I know beginners say, hey, where'd my JPEG go? It should be there. It's just not showing and you don't have to worry about it. It's a JPEG and Word doesn't care about JPEG, so it's just not showing it. So this is my Apple Word file. And when I save it, and I'll close it, and I'll close this one, and what I'm left with in my junk folder is I have this Apple JPEG. Let's make these bigger so we can see them. I have the Apple JPEG. That's the one I made in Paint. And then I have my Apple Word document where that picture was inserted in the document.